10 random things that I see on a person that instantly give me the impression that they have good style. These are things that you can implement into your style that will instantly make you a little bit more stylish, in my opinion. A good statement back. It can be the color, it can be the fit, it can be the size, it can be the way that you wear it, the way that you coordinate it with your outfit. You don't need a lot of bags. You just need one or two or a couple of good bags. These are things that will dress up and elevate the simplest of simple casual outfits. I recently got this bag from Sangma. It's like a canvas bag. I love it for the spring and summer. Something like this that has like leather accents. It's like a step up from a regular tote bag. So this is their drippy tote. This is their canvas edition. I think they have two colors of this one. They have the leather in another color. The leather that they used is just very good quality. And I feel like, again, the integration of this high quality leather really elevates a regular standard canvas tote. It adds almost a sense of refinement and delicacy that you don't normally find in just standard canvas totes. I've been wearing this every day since I got it. I fit my whole life in here. I love how I can carry all of my son's stuff in here as well as all of my stuff. I also really like these little hanging ears they call it. Keep in mind I have a cover on my phone and I also have the Octobuddy on. But if you have a very sleek cover or if you don't have a cover you can fit it in here perfectly. I've also been using this for my little hand sanitizers, lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses. It's the perfect little pouch and they have it on both sides to be able to put anything that you want to like easily grab. It also has a pocket inside, which I love. Like the way that it's designed sits so nicely on my shoulder. It doesn't like make my back hurt throughout the day and it doesn't like slide off, which is a pet peeve of mine. I own like three of their bags, three or four of their bags. And almost all of the bags that I have from them is very practical and very versatile. I can either wear them a bunch of different ways or they put a lot of thought into their design, which is what I really love about them. Aside from the fact that they're very minimal, something that's going to stand the test of time and the quality of their bags is good. Another thing I want to add is bags like this, or I mean bags in general, but they make such a good gift, like a tote style, just carry all bag. It's I recently bought my mom one. I think that this would make such a good gift. This is the medium size. It can fit a 13 inch laptop as well as a million other things. And they have a larger version, which I really love as well. That one can fit a 16 inch laptop. And I've also found that this colorway and this mix of materials is very, very easy to style. So yeah, thank you so much Songma for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'll put all of the details down below, links to everything, my code, everything will be in the description. So be sure to check it out when i see a very undone outfit paired with a designer bag or like a very expensive bag that is also undone like they're wearing their bag their bag is not wearing them to me that screams more style than somebody who makes their designer bag or their very expensive bag the entire outfit for example birkins that bag was designed after a woman named jane birkin and the way that she wore her birkin bag is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Like she wore the heck out of her bag. Her bag did not wear her. She put everything in it. She used it for its intended purpose, which is to fit like your whole life in it. You know, she accessorized it. She made it her own. She really, really, really wore and used that bag and wore that leather, wore it out. Anybody can buy a very expensive bag just because it's a knit bag, but it's the way that you wear that bag. Like wear it, you know, like wear the heck out of your bags. Like I think that's so much cooler, so much more stylish than somebody who just treats their bag like it should be in a box. If I see a person wearing cool shoes, whether they're shoes that are like the it shoe at the moment, for example, Adidas, Sambas, and Gazelles in a cool colorway, or simply the way that they're styling their shoes. You know, even if it's a shoe that's not necessarily like the it shoe or stylish on its own, the way that they incorporate it into their outfit can give the impression, okay, this person knows how to style their shoes. They have good style. Not only sneakers, but you know, whether it's a squared toe or like a kitten heel, a lot of people think that 
kitten heels are like repulsive. I love them. I love a short heel. A lot of the time that I see somebody wearing something that isn't conventionally attractive, it, it usually tells me, even if it's not my particular style and I, I don't, I wouldn't personally wear it, it tells me, okay, this person is dressing for themselves. This person has their style, you know, they have style. And just little things like that. So like a lot of people look at Adidas Sambas and they're like, okay, this person's gonna go play soccer, right? But it's the way that you style it. It's the way that you wear it. If you're comfortable in them, like it's, there's so much more to having style than something being attractive. So yeah, it doesn't have to be Adidas. That's just an example. And that's just a shoe that specifically like right now in this point in time, I look at, I'm like, okay, this person has style. In the future, what do we know about trends? They come and go. Even though I think Adidas Sambas are a classic shoe, I wear them so much that, you know, sometimes think it's inevitable. Like you get tired of things. I also have my Converse, haven't worn them in a long time. Am I gonna get rid of them? No. Jewelry. Doesn't have to be fun jewelry, just like the way that you stack your jewelry, the way that you combine your jewelry, getting some statement pieces to wear with very simple outfits, your necklaces peek through your shirt and, and, and incorporating it into your overall look. It's very easy to throw stuff on, but it's the way that you combine things and your intention behind everything that you're putting on yourself to complete an outfit. Just like hair accessories, a good headband, a good clip. Like these are all things that I look at. If somebody has like a cool clip or they're wearing like their hair accessories in like a undone but intentional way like these are things that i look at i'm like okay this person like knows how to work with their features and their hair and their accessories to complement the rest of their outfit so jewelry and hair accessories to me has always been something that i always 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 incorporate into my outfits especially if my hair is dirty and i really want to like get it out of my face or just like simply spice up my outfits sweater on your shoulders or long sleeve on your shoulders just anything to add dimension and add layering to your outfit this is something that even if you live in a hot climate you can do right now i can throw a crew neck over my shoulders or a knit over my shoulders and i can just add an extra layer of something to my outfit especially if it's like a fun color or if it brings out something in their outfit in any way i'm a huge 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 fan of putting something on your shoulders to elevate your outfit and to just add a little bit more style and dimension and and just fun to your outfit sunglasses that are a little bit more than just something that's shielding your eyeballs something that really flatters your face something that really adds an element of style to your outfit whether it's the shape of the sunglasses you know whether it makes you look a certain way or the color or how again how you're coordinating it with things in your outfit when it comes to accessories I have to look at the overall outfit that the person's wearing because anybody can throw sunglasses on, anybody can throw a bag on, any, anybody can throw jewelry on and it doesn't necessarily mean that their entire outfit flows. But if I'm looking at the whole picture and I see the sunglasses and I see that they're wearing their sunglasses or they pick those sunglasses like intentionally, to me it screams they have style but again like with accessories it's very tricky you have to look at the overall picture but if the overall picture is just like a plain basic classic outfit that i would totally wear and i see these accessories styled in a way that elevates the crap out of the outfit that is what indicates to me okay this person has style and speaking of wearing basic outfits how are they wearing these basics let's pretend that they just have very simple jewelry on and just not really any other accessories if they're only working with a very simple base a very simple outfit how are they styling this they're wearing a button down how are they like maneuvering it to make it a little bit more different they don't have to do this obviously this is these are just things like if you're not working with anything else what tells me that you have style based on a very simple outfit so if you're wearing a button down like how are you tying it how are you tucking it in you know is it oversized what color is it do you have any buttons opened one of my favorite things to do is open up so you can see my jewelry if i'm wearing it tucked out i leave like the last two or three buttons 
undone so that it kind of makes like this shape if they're wearing a cardigan are they leaving any like buttons undone how are they wearing that cardigan if they're wearing an oversized t-shirt do they just leave it completely tucked out or are they tucking in like a side to kind of like show the waist or work with their proportions like what are they doing to make this very simple outfit more elevated more interesting how are they being intentional with their style so you know you can you can work with no accessories at all you can go out without a bag you can go out with just plain flip-flops or shoes. How are you manipulating this outfit to make it fit your body or your style? I recently filmed a video on spring and summer trend predictions and I talked about color play. We've been seeing the Adidas Gazelles in a bunch of fun colors mixed with other fun colors. And to me, that screams, okay, this person is playing around. This person is just not really styling things to match. Sometimes this doesn't look good, but if it's done right, if the colors kind of like go together in some way, shape or form, I think that that screams, okay, this person like knows how to put things together and has styles. So personally, I've been loving it. I've been loving like one color bag with a different color shoe or like the same color in different shades or different hues. I think it's such a fun way to elevate your outfit and play around with just like simple colors. Oversized done right. If you're wearing an oversized outfit from head to toe, how are you manipulating it to flatter your body? Because anybody could just throw on an oversized shirt and oversized pants. How are you styling it so that it looks better or good on you and your specific body type? You know, now if you are somebody who just looks really good and oversized from head to toe, congratulations, you are blessed. But if you're not, how are you styling it? What bags are you wearing? What accessories? How are you tucking the shirt in? How are you styling the pants to make it look better, you know? Or something that I call outfit balancing. If you're wearing oversized pants or very wide leg pants or just really big pants that can definitely wear you instead of you wearing it, how are you balancing it out with the top of your outfit? Same thing, if you're wearing an oversized top, how are you balancing out the bottom portion of your outfit? Like if you know about outfit balancing that to me screams okay this person knows how to style their stuff and how to work with their proportions they have style how are you styling it so that it doesn't make you look frumpy or like too casual too undone you know nothing wrong with an oversized outfit from head to toe but if you're trying to be stylish and you're trying to not make your outfit look like you're ready to go to sleep what things are you doing so how a person balances out the top and the bottom of their outfit or their entirely oversized outfit really tells me a lot about their style if you're wearing like an oversized button shirt which is one of my favorite things to do how are you tucking it in or how are you using it are you using it as a layering piece instantly tells me this person like cares you know to go that extra step they could have just worn a tank top and jeans but they threw on another piece to add dimension to their outfit and finally this one's definitely not necessary some of the most stylish people don't even wear nail polish but especially if your overall style is very 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 simple adding a pop of something through your nails I'll put some examples, just very simple yet cool designs. Not all the time, but most of the time it is something that I see that's a good indicator to me that this person has style. So yeah, those are 10 things that I see on a person that make me think, okay, this person has style or 10 things that will instantly make you more stylish, in my opinion, in my opinion opinion love this bag so much thank you song Ma, for sponsoring this video i'll put all of the information about this bag as well as song Ma, and my code down below so be sure to check out the description and i will see you guys in my next video